Hey everyone, do you remember when I said that I wasn't going to buy any of the secret lair drops? The lie detective determined that was a lie. Ah! Well that was before I knew that there were stained glass planeswalkers in each of these boxes. So, and in addition to that, the kaleidoscope killers have enough value I think in the three cards that are going to come with it, um, potentially long term, um, that it's worth it to get some of these, open them up, sit on them, and uh, hope for the best um, and look for the bonus of the Planeswalker card. Plus, I actually want the sleeve code for Arena, so gotta get that. So, come along with me on this journey while I open these up and see if I get a nice bonus. So, I really do like the style of the Kaleidoscope Killers. Um, especially the Sliver Overlord. I'm a huge Slivers fan. And uh, I'm probably going to at least keep one of those for myself if I ever find any friends to play Commander with. Um, and the box is nice too, right? So there we go. Secret Lair Drop Series. Very nice packaging. Like a watch box. Let's see, does it open like that? Yeah, here we go. There they are. We've got a Reaper King. Let's see. Comes out just like a Rolex. <laughs> let's uh, go ahead and open. Well, let's see. Let's pull this out. Uh huh. Uh huh. There we go. We'll save that for a second here. Reaper King. Let's see if I can get these out of this thing without ruining them. I don't know if you've noticed on this channel, but I'm a klutz. I'm always dropping stuff and flipping cards and hopefully not ruining really premium stuff like this. Whoops. A little slippery there. Reaper King. Legendary artifact creature Scarecrow. It's a 664. One of each color or two times five uh, colorless, any combination. Very cool. Other Scarecrow creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Whenever another Scarecrow enters the battlefield under your control, destroy target permanent. Um, and with five color stuff, really good with uh, changelings like Morophon. Um, so I think that this card is gonna always be in somewhat demand. Beautiful though. Sliver Overlord, another five color casting cost, legendary Sliver Mutant, 7-7, seven, seven. pay three to search your library for a Sliver card, reveal that card and put it into your hand, then shuffle your library, or you can pay three to gain control of target Sliver. The end of evolution, that's it, you've achieved perfection, gorgeous, love the, I love the purples in these cards uh, very bright and vibrant like a blacklight poster I might I might have to track down some posters of these actually uh, the Ur dragon all five colors and then another four for a 1010 legendary dragon avatar it's got eminence as long as the Ur dragon is in the command zone or on the battlefield other dragon spells you cast cost one less to cast and it flies whenever one or more dragons you control attack draw that many cards then you may put a permanent card from your hand onto the battlefield. Another great one. So that's the three that are in there. I may end up just keeping these three for myself uh, and then probably sell the copies of the other two boxes that I got. And we're going to check out what did I get for my Planeswalker. Um, these are all from War of the Spark, the, the stained glass versions that were seen in some of the promo stuff. And the big ones, of course, that you want to get are Teferi and uh, Nicol Bolas, I think. Um, so let's see. Did I luck out? Oh, I lucked out, all right. Nicol Bolas, Dragon God. Very cool. Um, happy with that for sure. Um, I think that easily exceeds what I paid for this one box. 
Um, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take my luck and check the other two here. Nicobolus, he's Grixis with three black. And uh, you can do some stuff with him, man. He's got all loyalty abilities of all other planeswalkers on the battlefield. Gorgeous. Love the stained glass. Ever since those were spoiled on, I think, the trailer for War of the Spark, everyone was clamoring. Where can I get those? Well, here you go. Here they are. All right. Box one away. Um, let's do it again. Something about opening cards. It's got that addictive quality. And uh, I seem to have been bitten by the bug, in case you haven't noticed. Let's go. If I can. There we go. That is like the strongest tissue paper. Not gonna lie. Alright, round two. So, I think I'll just not really pull those out since we've seen them just go for the goods here Let's see how I do on this one and uh, hmm to look for my code somewhere I didn't see it in the last one No code. Is it on the box? Hmm. All right, well, I'll look around for that later because it's not immediately obvious to me. Let's see how I do on this one. Next, what do we get? Uh, Ral Storm Conduit, not as good as Nickel Bolas. Pretty cool though with the stained glass lightning. That's decent. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, Ral Storm Conduit deals one damage to target opponent or planeswalker. Yeah, you can do some damage with that too. All right, we'll do it one more time. Let's see how it goes. the box and yeah I don't see any code for sleeves here maybe it was on the receipt and I missed it Reaper King times three whoop whoop get out get out there we go come on there we go. Um, okay, we'll put it all over there. And this one goes there. And let's open it up. Can I get lucky again? Here it is, moment of truth. Ooh, a Soren, Vengeful Bloodlord. Not quite as good. I still, I think I like this one better than the Rao though. As long as it's your turn, creatures and planeswalkers you control have lifelink. I like the stained glass effect on this one better than Rao, so. There you have it. I got lucky with Nicol Bolas, and I got, uh, Three times Reaper King, Sliver Overlord, and the Ur Dragon to play around with here. So, thanks for stopping by. If you enjoyed it, give me a like, comment down below. Did you guys get any of these? What do you think? Did I miss out by not getting uh, any of the other ones? Um, let me know. And have a good one. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh!